Hey everyone, Jack Gassett here, and uh, I'm an open source hardware hacker, and I'm here in the PC Duino offices in Shenzhen, and uh, they have an exciting new development that they just showed us. It's the Arduino or the PC Duino 8. The uh, new board has eight cores, an octa core, and uh, it's screaming fast, amazingly fast. So it works right now. Yes. There's like the, this is the first uh, samples. So how soon is this on the market? Uh, right now, all depends on the needs. If we get a uh, tons of uh, uh, needs, so we basically are planning to release them uh, in one month. So here's the samples, the first samples. You can see it got a uh, two USB host, one HDMI, and it actually it got a uh, infrared and audio jack. You actually also get the USB uh, USB 3.0. And get a four gig flash on board SD card, and the DRAM is like uh, uh, one gig, and you also get the uh, Wi-Fi and uh, a Bluetooth combined uh, modules on on board. Nice. So uh, you are a specialist in making uh, uh, hacker boards, right? Yes. You make a whole range of uh, boards over yes. there. So are these on the market right now? Yes. So actually, in the past, in the past one and a half year, we are really busy. We started with a PC Duna V1, so which is a PC Duna version one, and it's got the Arduino headers, but it's not really full compatible with Arduino. Uh, like that, so we make the changes to PC Duna V2, so you can see it's exactly uh, compatible form factor wise uh, with the uh, Arduino headers. So it get a. We also added a Wi-Fi module to it, so now you don't need even to worry about the Wi-Fi. So you get an Ethernet too, and also this thing get a, a four gig of flash and a one gig of RAM. So how many do you sell of those? Uh, we sell this for about uh, forty thousand units of these things. So which countries? Where, where are the hackers? Uh, the hackers right now are mostly in United States and uh, European and Japan, Australia, and uh, that's pretty much uh, the big market is. So schools? Yeah, schools and uh, the guys who want to start up uh, their own companies and can use these things to do the rapid uh, prototyping and also for some uh, long tail market. So we start with a small variant and want to test the market. And if you are all, all ready with that, so we release something called a PC Duna core board. So this core board, you get a PC Duna to prototype, and then you get a, this really, you know, really tiny core board like this. And uh, you can ask us or you do it yourself with this baseboard for whatever product you want, and you can change the form factor. For example, uh, the Alpha Objects in uh, North Colorado, they are using this uh, PCD and a core board to design the control board for the 3D printer. And there are some also a group of uh, startup companies use this core board to design the uh, virtual reality stuff, uh, products, and also can be used for machine vision based uh, um, home automation. Nice. Right, so, how much? Uh, how much it cost all these boards? Uh, actually, you know what? I don't have the numbers on top of my head. So we started with, uh, for example, PC Duna V V1 is like I think it's uh, fifty five bucks, and uh, V2 I think it's sixty six. Yeah, this is a V3. So V3 get a A20. Basically, it's a core. Uh, it's a dual core. Get a SATA. Get a so, SATA and a power supply and a battery and also get the LVDS can make it a really nice tablet out of it if you want. Nice. Yes. Yeah. So how popular is this one? Uh, this one we just started shipping this thing I think two months ago and we already shipped I think uh, 20,000 uh, units of this thing. So it's like double the speed of here? Yes, double the speed and not exactly, so it's dual core but it doesn't necessarily mean double the speed because uh, the OS takes the uh, overhead of it. And uh, we got a feedback from customers, they want a smaller version. So we made a light Wi-Fi, which is smaller. And we're going to release, release a narrow version. So this is new. We haven't even shipped this thing yet. So it's got the same form factor uh, as the... Uh, what do you call this one? This thing is called a PC Duna 3 Nano. So, 3 Nano. Uh, nano. It's, it's small and uh, it's uh, like the uh, same form factor as Arjuna. A, li a little bit bigger than Arjuna Uno. Yeah, so it's pin to pin compatible with uh, 
Arjuna Uno, so you can still install the Arjuna Shield on that one, and you get the benefit of a PC Dina V3, PC Dina uh, V3, but uh, we remove a lot of accessories. For example, a lot of extra pins, uh, we just remove them. It doesn't has a LVDS connector. And other than that, I think it has uh, most of the common components, so, so you still get the peripherals, but it removes the Wi-Fi dongle, but it uh, uh, removes the Wi-Fi modules. Yeah, other than that, it's pretty much a full. How's the price going to be? Uh, the price, I think right now, is going to be 66 bucks, and uh, we're going to run a contest uh, with PC Duna. So we're going to uh, have a coupon code, so you can order, we're going to give a uh, like 25% uh, coupon code, which I'm going to release later, so we, you can use a uh, by any uh, PC Duna to do a contest and later on you just send us uh, links of the cool project you have done and you can earn some uh, store credit at our website. It's so the idea is people make a video of whatever crazy cool project they do? Exactly. And you choose the best? Yes, we, we as a community, we as a neighborhood to vote it and to see whatever cool project then uh, in return you can get some like a uh, you know, couple of thousands bucks uh, uh, store credits from uh, Link's Bride uh, online store and uh, we, we use this to try to promote the innovation and uh, crazy ideas. But all hackers always agree what's best, right? Yes. You don't need to choose, like people would say, oh this obviously is the best. Oh yeah, 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 it's, uh, it's really hard to tell, yeah. yeah. So can you explain a few, few of the crazy things people have been doing? Because uh, there's our Arduino uh -huh. community and you decide to use all winner with Arduino compatibility. This yes. Is the idea, right? Uh, yes. So the idea of PC Duna is because uh, uh, if you look at Arduino Uno, the, comp the competition uh, power is uh, very limited. So we want people to have the enjoy the freedom of using Linux. So Linux uh, community. So you can install thousands of uh, open source packages already. For example, you want to build a website. You want to uh, uh, host the website. You want to use a set of like server, you want to have the vision capability. For example, you can use OpenCV, those kind of stuff. So combined with the thousands of uh, Arjuna shields already existing there. So we try to bridge these two great communities together. And uh, jointly we make uh, you know, uh, really better platforms for people to uh, do innovation. And now even going octa-core, even going with the with the 8 core, with the fastest ARM processor in the world. Yeah, yeah. So, and this uh, we will already receive uh, a lot of uh, uh, inquiries. So, we want to start a sample this uh, uh, after called PC Duna A8 starting next month. So, <coughs> interesting customers, uh, interesting hackers, users, you can register at PCDuna.com to apply for a sample of this board and just tell us what kind of cool projects you have in mind and uh, you can help us basically to get this product out as quickly as possible. All right, so people have to tell you what they want to do. Yes, uh, so uh, it's better to tell us what you want because we are keeping improving these products. We want to know, you know, what kind of peripherals you want, <coughs> what kind of, uh, you know. Otherwise, we don't know we're going to put all the peripherals there and make this product really big, really expensive. So we want to make trade-offs. So we want to hear all the folks out of there. You know, what do you want us to do? What's the target price? Target price uh, right now, uh, we want to below like 100 bucks. 99. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, good. Sounds good. But uh, we want to know what we add us there. Right. So there's Android, but it's, people can hack a bunch of things on there, right? Yeah, this is, like right now it's Android and we are working on the Debian version of it. So we're going to make a Debian version, uh, a Linux version of it. So this, this is Android, it can uh, support 4K. Uh, 4K resolution, so it's 4K video, and uh, you can use it to do all the crazy things. How about the uh, Chrome OS? Yeah, what's Chrome going on OS. with that? Oh yes, yes. Actually, uh, a group of uh, a group of hackers they are already working us uh, to port the Chrome OS onto PC Duna. So, so it's good you can ask that. Yeah, bring these questions. Bring up these questions. Cool. Thanks. So I'll, I'll just take this one. Okay. Okay. So here you have Scratch running on the PC Duino. Which PC Duino is this? Yeah, so this Scratch, we made a custom version of a Scratch. What does custom version mean? So we get a Scratch for PC Duino. So it runs on all the versions of a PC Duino. 
So it runs can run PDR V1, V2, V3, and all the variation like Nano, those kind of stuff can run Scratch. Scratch run on all of them. So let me show you here. So uh, based on, it's, it's based on the original Scratch 1.4, and we add uh, something called a hardware tab. So you can, if you can look at this carefully, we add something called a hardware. So that means you can access all the PC Duna uh, hardware interface from Scratch. For example, here you get a you get a GPIO, ADC, PWM. So that means the young kids can do all the hardware projects and combine the hardware projects with all the original yes, PC, uh, Scratch uh, script so they can do that. So let me show you some cool project done by an 11 year old boy. Nice. So yeah, let's, let's look at this. So we get something called uh, uh, this linker base shield. So by, by inst install this uh, linker base shield on PC Duna 3, uh, it opens up the whole kind of uh, connectors like this. So it makes uh, the little hand very easy to handle these sensors. So this particular sensor, we have uh, something called uh, uh, infrared sensor. It works by sending out uh, infrared lights and then reflect back, right? When we move the hand, hands toward it, it changes the uh, vo voltage. So it, it's right here for a table tennis game. Yeah, right now it's a pawn. So you can, you can see here, this is a code it does. It's really simple. We just, so you just grab all the codes. For example, set a score and a point of directions. And uh, right now I'm showing the board. So we got uh, two players. For example, the red one, the red board. It basically set a value using read off this voltage of the sensors, the, the infrared sensors. And then move the, move the distance of it. So now let's just play it. I click this uh, green button, the green flag, and then I make it a full screen. Uh, full screen. You can see if I get my two hands, I can control these balls and try to you know pick up this uh, ball. You can see it reflect back. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So use this. We can teach the kids about the, how computer works, how programming works, how the hardware works how the hardware sensors the uh, physical world. So you can combine the animation, draw pictures, and also, you know, all the good stuff. So you don't all, all the day sit in, the, in front of a computer to play a game, or like use your iPad to play the game. You can actually do something. You can uh, do interesting projects. You can also use Scratch to make a robot like this. So we made a, we made a video robot. Uh, out of a PC Duna using Scratch. So first we do is make PC Duna as an access point. Nice. Why why this access point? And we use this motor shield. This is a Duna compatible. So it can control all the motors like here. Yeah this and the kid could figure out how to do that? Yes kid, kids can figure out how to do it. And uh, this is a camera, USB camera. And we can do a demo of it to make nice. it work to see how it works. This is awesome. So the vision here is you want millions of kids with PC Duino, no? Yeah, not just uh, necessarily just the PC Duino. We want the kids to be able to uh, uh, <laughs> move away from their iPad or uh, like uh, games and really you know, try to use their innovation and uh, create stuff and make stuff. So be a young maker. And that's a uh, very good for future generation. So we want to keep this uh, innovation momentum keep going on. So which schools are using this so far? You, you have you have talks. Yes, we you already do stuff. Yes, we actually right now uh, in Colorado. Back in Colorado, we have, uh, for example, a couple of uh, schools uh, they are already experimenting with that one, and also in Germany, uh, there are some schools are using that one. Here, uh, here, because our. Uh, this is, we are in China right now, so here this is in Dongguan city, uh, the mayor actually just uh, announced they're going to uh, order 20,000 uh, uh, PC Dunas kit like this to teach the, using the Scratch to do the STEM education. So we, we actually have uh, several books. Uh, it covers uh, 60 different kinds of projects, from starting from the basic one like blinking at LED to a full functional a video robot like this, so it covers all these things. And you do t tutorials on internet? We do tutorials uh, on internet and uh, learn. We, we build a learning center 
uh, thanks to Jack's uh, recommendation. So we built a learning center. It's called uh, learn.linksport.com. We put, we're constantly posting all those uh, projects and uh, it is done by us or by some uh, users from the community to post uh, those uh, interesting projects. And we, we, teach, uh, we show all those detailed technology steps. So it's, it's covers, for example, how you wire things, how you connect things, and how you set up the uh, program environment, and, uh, and how, you, you know, how to supply the power, those kind of detailed information. Nice, so uh, there will be millions of new hackers thanks to what you're doing. That's future. right, yeah. And it will change so. the world. Yes, so together we will change the world. And uh, Obama and Merkel and all the politicians should just contact you and make big orders, right? Oh yeah, so White House actually had uh, the first ever maker fair in White House. So actually Obama administration thinks this uh, whole uh, maker movement actually is a great thing for keep uh, America out of the whole world uh, leading in the innovation. So actually the Obama administration does have this vision, so which is uh, really good. So. So, here's some of the hacking going on here at the PC Duino office. Hey, who are you? What's your name? My name is Huli. Huli? <coughs> Doing some hacking here. Alright. Hey, what's up? Hi. What is going on here? Uh, this is the, P the PC Duino 8, 8 beta. I divide the device uh, uh, beta as uh, you boot. Is it fast? Uh, yes. It's fast? Yes. Does it work? Yes. All right. That's cool. Let's go in here a little bit. Hey, you, you wrote this book? PC Duino book. Yes, PC Duino for PC Duino design. And an uh, uh, example. Uh, lots, of, lots, of, about? lots of design example and, um, for you to study. Cool. How many books are there about PC Duno? There's some other books, right? Yeah. And what these guys are doing? <laughs> Testing some stuff. These these guys do the software in the PC Duno. Yeah, right. Nice. And uh, that is the uh, cloud computing. Yeah. Nice. The old cloud. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one. This, yeah. This yeah. is for desktop virtualization. Nice. And uh, this one is another name. Mm, this one is another name for Pistura 3S. Okay. Yeah. 3S. Yes. 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 So we got a Pistura nice. 3S. So yeah. we just rebranded it. Yeah. And uh, over here on the screen, uh, it's a Pistura 3 and Cobalt. And, and this is a Pistura 3S. Okay, Pistura 3 Cobalt. Nice. And so here's our or hardware protect the manager, yeah. So yes. what's going to happen with the 8? You're going to do some crazy designs. You can uh, optimize stuff for that, right? Yes, I did I for PDM3 and uh, now it's PDM4. That's cool. And uh, you, you, you're working with some other project over here? Yeah, so between uh, playing with their iPhone controlled uh, robot, uh, they're helping me to figure out how to manufacture my FPGA board that's an Arduino compatible FPGA board uh, that I just completed a Kickstarter for and uh, you know great people here at the PC Duino offices they help uh, many hackers and, and uh, makers in the community and it's been a pleasure to be here with the, with their uh, their staff and, and in the offices. Here. Completed that means what? How many people people order? Uh, I think it's about 400 people that are ordered on Kickstarter, and we're and working. PC Duino helps you makes it happen. That's right. That's right. 